doesn't might not be a sandboy. It seems pretty small. Okay, just hold it. Just keep him. Don't fight him. Get him to turn and going that way. Once he's going this way, then go hard. Yep, I've got your leader. It is so damaged. Oh my god, that leader's so thin. Yep. Oh my god! Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Quick, quick, quick. That's 18. There you go. What a way to start the morning. Yeah, buddy. Big Samson fish. Solid eye. Timo's first one from the rocks, and that's a 18 odd kilo fish. Woohoo! That's epic. Yeah, well, we are down on the south coast chasing these brutes today, and uh, we're gonna try our best to get stuck into a few more fish this size. That is magic. Big Samson fish. Sick, dude. Let's uh, let this one revive a bit in the pool and we'll uh, see if we can get another one once we've let this one go. Okay, when the wave comes up, you just want to throw him. Slide him or throw him? Throw. When the wave comes up and there's lots of water there, throw it. Yep, quick. That's it. Because he'll swim and go back down. Off he goes, tail yeah. beat. Woohoo! Oh, first fish of the morning. Let's get out of here before we get washed in. King, you're on fire. Yeah, boy. Get him up, get him up. He's still not yours yet. What's your no, odd no, tip? No, 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 no. Oh, big king, big king. Really big, yes. Yes, big king. Oh, I got a little one. There was a big one there. Whoa, that's green, that's very green. Okay, calm down in there, mate. Beautiful pair of kingfish. Such cool fish. Dan's first one. Myself a little one on the minnow, Dan's on plastic, but uh, we've done pretty well to get two, one after the other. Sick, man. Yeah, 100%. All right, my one can go back. Oh, well, Dan's is a bit rough, so that one's gonna get kept, but mine's in good condition, so this one could go back. Beautiful yellow tail kingfish. Such an awesome fish. Sending this one home. Out of here. Woo. Yep. Oh, you see the king? Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, there. Little kingfish. Another one. Another little one. Oh god. He's got his head back down. Oh no. Oh no. What? Did that get bigger? I don't want to give him line. Oh no. Massive break seat cod. One of the tastiest fish that you can get down here on the south coast. So uh, this one's gonna be coming home for dinner for sure. How cool.
That's a king. Not good. That way's not good. Get out of there. Good king. Let me know what you want me to do. that way turn This is hard. Beautiful kingfish on the 30 pound gear and plastic. The cast before I had a, another fish hit it and uh, pulled hooks on it, luckily, because I feel like it was much bigger than this one. And uh, this one made me work for it, but 80 centimeter odd kingfish, five inch plastic. Beautiful. Woohoo! So stoked with that. Beautiful kingfish. Packing up now, we had a sick session. We got Dimo, his biggest Samson fish, his first kingfish. I got myself a couple of nice kingfish and a beautiful big break sea cod. We uh, lost a few fish as well, it's pretty normal with this spot, but we're gonna pack it up, send it out of here, take one of these kingfish home, let the other ones go, and that break sea cod's gonna come home with us as well. So I think I might show you guys some of the stuff that I do with these kingfish because they are absolutely delicious. Let's uh, pack our stuff up, trek it out of here. It's been a sick day. So, just got back from our adventure down south and we had a full weekend of chasing fish down there. Got Dan his kingfish, so... There's a fishy on the table. So we're gonna chop up Dan's kingfish. We also got a couple of other fish as well. So I kept a big break sea cod that I caught and we kept eight squid that we caught, including one absolutely massive one. So Dan and I had a pretty good weekend on the south coast chasing fish, but today it's all about the kingfish. So I'm gonna clean up these squid and the break sea cod, pack them away. They're gonna go in the freezer and dinner tonight. But the kingfish, I'm gonna cure that. I'm gonna show you how I do it. And then we're gonna make a fish bowl for dinner tomorrow night yeah yeah there's squid so we're gonna make a fish bowl for dinner tomorrow night out of the cured kingfish so let's pack all this other stuff away get it all cleaned up We have just got the kingfish left to do now. The other two are already done, so let's get this thing filleted. Pretty clean. 
kingfish. Two beautiful fillets. Kingfish fillet. Let's uh, clean this up, get it ready, and then we can cure this. Beautiful the yellow tail kingfish. For the cure, I'm gonna keep it really, really simple because the fish is gonna be going in a poke bowl and it's gonna have a bunch of other ingredients with it that are gonna have a heap of flavor. So I don't wanna add a lot of flavor to it. All I really wanna do is firm the fish up and give it a little bit of sweet and salt sort of thing. So I'm just gonna be using brown sugar and salt. That's it. So 50-50 mix, equal parts of both. So I'm just gonna go for a quarter of a cup of salt and sugar, mix it in this bowl, and then put it in this fish, wrap it in basing, baking paper, and put it in the fridge overnight until our dinner tomorrow. So let's do it. it. Fish coated. Stay. Into the fridge overnight like that. All right. Next day now, fish is in the fridge. Should be all cured. Get it out now. I've got the rest of my ingredients for tonight's dinner all put together, so I'll run through that quickly and show you what I've got. That's the rest of our bits to go in the poke bowls. So there's avocado, cucumber, red onion, carrot, mango, and cabbage. Didn't have fresh mango, so I've just got tin mango. It'll do, it's good enough, but fresh mango is definitely way better if you can get it. It's just not season for them here right now, so. Everything's all there, prepped, ready to go. This is our fish. Just with the salt and the sugar cure. But you can see how much moisture has came out of it. There's a big pool in the corner there. That's how much moisture's came out of it in the past 24 hours or so. And the fish is really firmed up. Let's get some paper towel to put it on. Look how much liquid came out of that piece of fish. So much moisture dried off our piece of fish. That is what we are left with. Beautiful piece of cured kingfish. Sweet. We've got everything we need here now. So, diced up the kingfish into little bits. That is what it looks like once it's cured. So it's just a firmer, less moisture sort of piece of fish with a little bit of extra sort of flavor from the sugar and the salt. But, got our kingfish sorted, got our rice, the rest of our stuff to go on the top. Sriracha kupi. A little bit of ponzu sauce to go on the top of it all. So, pretty easy. Chuck everything in a bowl and put some sauce on top and you're done. You can put a bit of lime juice as well. I don't mind it. I'll probably put some on myself. And just some fried shallots with some crunch on top.
splash of that. Sriracha Kewpie. Cured kingfish poke bowls. You can add whatever ingredients you like to these. That's just a favorite of mine. I always just experiment with new things, try new things, put whatever you like in it, and it is all good to go. Kingfish poke bowls.